Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and you're going to be seeing my first ever game in the Chaffee. This is a post-game commentary. This was quite a well, it was quite an eye-opener for me. The Chaffee is one of the oldest scout tanks in the game, and it's the only remaining what I would call true super tier five scout tank that used to be. It used to be that there was like the the VK2801. There used to be the T-52, which was rebalanced into the MT-25, I believe. And the MT-25 is, it's not even the same kind of tank now. And the Chaffee, which is the American Tier 5 light tank. Now, you might have been seeing a lot of my gameplay recently in the Type 64. And you'll know that I absolutely love the Type 64. You might have heard me saying that the Type 64 is a lot like a Chaffee but it is a premium tank, so it can easily afford to use all of the top consumables on it and also still make a lot of money while you play it. Now the Chaffee is a tier five light and it can get into tier 10 matchups. Now what you'll find is that when the Chaffee gets to fight tanks of equal tier and lower, it's pretty dominant. This is a really nice matchup for the Chaffee. Even though I'm bottom of the list, I feel like I am the best tank in on either side, really. You could argue that the T-29, you know, that's, that's, that's a fairly awesome tank. But tier for tier, really, the Chaffee is it's quite dominant. So I'm playing on Abby. And I think that dominating the middle was a risky play. If, for example, the Panther had come after me in the middle, or even the Type 58, then I'd be in trouble. And also, whenever you go into the middle on Abbey, you leave yourself very vulnerable up into these ridge lines to the west. Now, thankfully, I've got a very good camo crew in the Chaffee, but I don't have six cents. And I don't really want to mess around with that French light tank with an auto loader. Now, the Chaffee has a great rate of fire, just like the Type 64. But really, you do not want to be trading shots with people. You want to be a support tank and only shoot people when you don't think they're going to be able to shoot you back. As we're going to see me play here, I play very carefully. I'm watching out to make sure that I'm not going to be shot in the back. Come round and dodge the first Type 58 shell. I know I've got a great reload. I put another one into him. And he fires again. But he's pulled back now. That T-49 is struggling. He's aiming at the guy behind me. And the DPM in the Chaffee, just as good as the Type 64. And really, for all intents and purposes... Uh, the Chaffee can be considered to be a Type 64, so if you are a Chaffee driver, you might want to consider picking up the Type 64, and if you're a Type 64 driver, you might want to get the Chaffee. Now you might be asking, well, why have I got one, would I want the other? And that's because they're kind of, they're, even though statistically they're fairly similar, they're, they're two quite different tanks. Now the Chaffee is a Tier 5, whereas the Type 64 is a, a Tier 6. Chaffee is actually probably the better tank in almost every regard apart from top speed. Now the top speed in the Chaffee is one of the massive weaknesses of the tank. And I've only played this tank a few times, so I'm not trying to make this a full quick tank review. What I'm trying to make this is an overview of the Chaffee, just my initial perception of it. I will be probably doing a further quick tank review in it when I've maybe done like 100 games in it. Right now what we can see is that this IS just can't see me through these trees. He's getting spotted by the Cheeto, who's just above him. That's probably a proxy spot. And that allows us to shoot this IS. Now, I have loaded some premium rounds here. They are quite expensive. But just like in the... And un, unlike the Type 64, I'd like to say, if the Type 64 penetrates its premium rounds, it still makes a profit. However, with the Chaffee, even if you penetrate your premium rounds, you are hemorrhaging money. And that's something you've got to watch out for. And that's sort of the, the limitation on the light tanks is their penetration. 137 with their standard rounds and 185 with their premium rounds, although you will have to pay for it. So I've already managed to clock up 2,000 damage so far in the Chaffee just by playing safely. We were able to pick up that AMX 12T as well. Now I digress. I was talking about the Chaffee and the Type 64, why buy one when you already have the other? Well, the Type 64 can make a lot of money. So if you're a Chaffee driver and you love the Chaffee gameplay, but maybe 
you want to not have the pressure of not being able to use all of the equipment that you want to use on it. For example, cola, maybe you want to buy more premium shells, but you don't mind going up one tier and effectively making less experience for your monster games. Then you probably want to pick up the Type 64. It's a lot less stressful, and if you do have the money that you want to invest into the game, then the Type 64 will give you that kind of chappy gameplay, but you'll have the increased top speed, and you'll also have less pressure on you with regards to making credits. However, if you're a Type 64 driver, and you love the fact that you can be a little light tank, and you like being more of a, a support damage dealer, in these kind of games when you can actually do that, then the Chaffee is simply amazing. Because it's a tier 5 tank, when it's doing damage to these higher tiered vehicles, especially if for some reason it gets to penetrate tier 10 tanks by either shooting them in the side or the rear, you can have massive games with regards to your experience. So now the game has developed a little bit, and this is starting to look a little closer. We can see that the AMX on the enemy team is a rather good player. We've got to watch out for him. He seems to be going after a KV-1. I know that he's not going to live. I'm using this bush location because the panther is skulking around their base. Now, what I felt at this moment is that the panther has most likely gone down the east. And so what I wanted to do is to either go and find out where he was or just try and flank around. There's no point in me being up there where I'd be proxy spotted by the AMX when he reaches the KV-1. I'd far rather be in this location shooting back into the AMX. I'm very much looking out for the panther at the moment. I do not want to get spotted by the panther. Because of the low health in the chaffee, I've only got 435. If I do indeed get spotted by the panther, uh, really, there's, there's, there's not much that I can do to him. Considering he's on still nearly 1,000 health, 954, you will get murdered. And you really need to be able to control the engagement. And whereas with the Type 64, I would be able to run away from him because my top speed would be excellent. The Chaffee, with its top speed at about, I think it's 55 roughly, don't quote me on that, it can't get away from those kind of medium tanks as effectively. So I'm using a, a rather lovely little location here. You can get up and use these bushes. We spotted the ARL. He hasn't spotted me. I fire one at him. I fire a second. I decide that he probably has seen me, and so I pull back. I really don't want to get shot. And that's a play style that you're going to have to develop in these light tanks. It's quite frustrating sometimes that you'll maybe only be able to put one or two shots into the enemy before you have to pull back. That's just something that you're going to have to deal with. I am I'm not saying that I'm completely immune from being chancy and maybe taking one too many shots than I should have taken. And when you do that, you, you generally get punished and you, you die. And a light tank is that kind of lovely style of gameplay that you can completely carry the game if you play well and you get punished ruthlessly for your mistakes. And it's a style of gameplay which is, is so rewarding when you get it right and absolutely soul crushing when you get it wrong. So the panther got spotted in the south. He was going down the east like I thought he would be. And now I need to work with the T2580 and the T49. We're firing premium rounds here. We didn't really need to be firing premium rounds there. This game is damn close. So he's turned his turret to deal with the other guy. Put one into his lower plate. Put three shots really quickly into him there. And don't ever underestimate the Chaffee. Nearly 700 damage done to that Panther just like that amazing DPM on these light tanks if you can penetrate your shots. And if you can play a supporting role as you see me doing here, then you can have really, really strong games. So, this T2580 needs to make a move on him. If he doesn't, he's going to get flanked by the AMX. Thankfully, he does the right move. Well played to that T25, and the Panther even misses. And he comes around the corner and gets the kill. That was a great result. Big shout out to you, the T25 80 driver, and I cannot pronounce that name, I, um, but a big shout out to you, mate. Um, now, I'm worried about the ARL engaging me in the side, but I have to throw caution to the wind here. I have to help out my friend with this AMX, because I believe the AMX would be able to outplay the T25 AT from being above him and using the gun depression. I come around this corner. He has no idea what's going on, and he's still shooting the T25 AT. Big mistake by this AMX driver. 
Still trying to kill the T25 AT. He absolutely panicked. He should have probably turned around and dealt with the Chaffee. But to be honest, he was really dead if he was dead. And what you saw there is basically timing your, your runs and the skill that you need to develop if you want to have big games in your light tanks is map awareness, timing, knowing when it's time to attack, and working with your teammates to to do more damage to your opponents while you take less damage. So I'm thinking the ARL might be skulking still around in the middle, but he's not. He's actually gone all the way over there. We put one shot into him. Now we're just going to work with this T25 AT. Now the ARL is still on 600 health, so he could still very easily do this. Now he's focusing up on me and the Chaffee. I duck in. For some reason he doesn't attack me. And I'm going backwards and forwards just to dodge his shells. Let's just pause for a second there and see where he shot me. He shot me straight in the mantle and it absorbed the damage. Good job, Mr. Chaffee. I'm not quite sure what gun he was using. It doesn't look like it's a 105mm or a 90mm. But the Chaffee, for all intents and purposes, has no armor at all. So I'm quite lucky to bounce that shot. But great, we put another shot into him. And that's all she wrote for the ARL. That is the Chaffee. An absolute little dream of a tank. It plays exactly like a Type 64, just a little bit slower. But the fact that you're that tier 5 tank means that you do get some rather outstanding experience results, as I'm going to show you in these post-game stats. So this was our first game in the Chaffee, and we did manage to bag the Mastery Badge in it. Don't be confused about these credits and experience, because this was during an event where we got 601 bonus experience. We managed to get 75,000 bonus credits. Now I'd like to highlight the difference immediately between the cha Chaffee and the Type 64. If I had done this in the Type 64, this number would be closer to maybe 100,000 profit for a game like this. The base number would be at least 100,000 plus. The repair on the vehicle was 2,000 and it only got lightly damaged. It's quite an expensive little light tank to repair. And the ammunition that we spent was 51,000 on all those premium rounds that we fired. However, we were totally rewarded with 3,009 experience with a premium account for, for our single. That's 2,006 base experience as we were managed to pick up that high caliber medal, just failing to get the top gun, doing 4,000 damage when the next highest damage dealer on the team was a tier six tank with 1,762. Commiserations to the enemy Panther and AMX, you two have both had really good games. But when the Chaffee gets up into a matchup like this, it is just amazing. And I think the experience multipliers are bizarre. When you consider the tiers of tanks that I was damaging, there was 900 damage done to this tier 7 IS. There was 500 damage done to a tier 7 AMX M4 and 700 to this Panther. Just over 550 to an ARL 44, which is tier 6. And the rest were sort of lower tier tanks. And that results in 2006 base experience. So if you're interested in probably getting some of the highest experience multipliers in the game, then look no further than the Chaffee. I'm just waiting for the kind of games where I can replicate these results in tier eights or tier nines. With a really, really strong game, I think the Chaffee, if played well, could easily break that kind of 3,500, 4,000 experience with a premium account. And I'm sure some people have probably done 3,000 experience base games in the Chaffee. I can't believe it's taken me so long to pick up this. This such a unique tank in World of Tanks. And it was only when I got to play the Type 64 that I realized what a joy a tank like this is to play. You could argue that this was an amazing matchup for the Chaffee. And you could argue that the map is also really nice for the Chaffee because it doesn't really need the super high top speed limit as much. I did most of my fighting from the center of the map. I was able to use some positions that I know from there to dominate. And it was only towards the middle and the late game that I actually had to really use the top speed in the Chaffee. Nevertheless, a lot of you always ask me about specific tanks that you might be able to pick up now that you've reached a certain level. Maybe you're looking for a challenge, or maybe you're just wanting to get a tank so you can inflate your maximum experience of all time. Now, my best ever was, I think, 3,250 in a VK2801. However, that was back when that tank was tier 5, and it was 
in my opinion, overpowered due to the premium rounds that it could use. It had 105mm with 150mm of penetration, with 350 alpha damage. Now you can't really use that reliably because the penetration on the heat rounds were nerfed by a third. However, Chaffee is unnerfed, and any experienced tank connoisseur should pick up the Chaffee and just have a hell of a lot of fun with it. This was just another example of carrying in your light tanks. For me, being the underdog in situations sometimes makes you play your best. And I can't wait to rack up a few more games in this absolute little joy of a tank. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider rating it down below. I'd really appreciate it. And let me know what you think about the Chaffee in the comments. Are you an experienced Chaffee driver? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Did you try it and did you just stop playing it instantly because it wasn't your kind of thing? Or maybe you've racked up hundreds if not thousands of games in the Chaffee and it's the... You, you, you understand what I'm going on about. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.